We do not expect to see a platoon here today. This is Wiley Green's game, third and eight. On the dry ground, the catch. And Robert French is wrapped up. Forward progress, though, maybe enough. The first down marker of the 42, and that's where they're going to mark French. Converting their first third down of the afternoon here. Booker, good hole. And diving forward just shy of midfield. They may mark him at the 50. It's a gain of about eight showers on the stop. Booker, first down. Dragging a Golden Eagle for a couple more yards. Kyle Hemby brings him down, but again a seven. Close, but still not being able to get that first win of the year. Especially in today's day and age where these youngsters question everything leaders and the grown-ups do and say to them, when you're 0-7, it'll be easy not to buy into the culture, not to buy into what they're saying. Been nasty so far. Third and seven. Just bringing three this time. And Green finds Myers. And that's enough for the first. Ball wrestled away, but forward progress already stopped. The whistle had blown. Southern Miss thought they had a fumble. Quickly to the line. Green, plenty of time here, and Rosner makes the catch, but short yardage. Quick throw, and this is Myers. Gets four, maybe five. Blitz, looking for Trammell, open, touchdown! Go for this play and get the penalty call to eventually lead to this touchdown pass. And look how he leads Trammell, where Trammell doesn't have to break stride and it doesn't give the defensive back enough time to get to the ball. Lee Green, more passing yards this quarter than all of the first half. Al's doing a much better job picking up the blitz. Catch made, Trammell. Brought down, maybe a yard shy of the marker. So the ball marked at the 20. For Jack Abraham and the Southern Miss offense. Plenty of time, and up the middle, intercepted! Tim Jones for a second pick of the year. Nice job. Abraham threw four interceptions last week against La Tech. His first one of the day today. Quick throw on the out, catch May. This is Trammell. I don't think there's any question you'll get the same level of effort from the Yells next week. But will they have enough as they take on a Marshall team if they hold on against Western Kentucky and they're up 20 to seven at the half.